Why is there so much crime? Because parents don't teach their kids right from wrong. Is that it? Also, there aren't enough police. But there are a lot of police. There's only one police officer per 100 criminals. Can't we hire more police? No, it costs too much money. Doesn't crime cost more than police? Yes, it does. So it would be cheaper to hire more police? Yes, it would. This is a great neighborhood. Yes, it is. People are friendly. Yes, they are. The streets and sidewalks are clean. Yes, they are. There's a real nice park nearby. Yes, there is. I feel safe here. There is no crime here. I wish I could move here. Maybe you can, if someone moves out. The house burned down. What happened? The man fell asleep. Was he smoking? Yes, he was smoking a cigarette. Did he die? Yes, he did. His cat died too. That's too bad. What about his smoke alarm? The battery was dead. A good battery, battery would have saved his life. He had cigarettes, but no battery. It happens all the time. They say he has started 15 big fires. He's been in jail three times already. Why did they ever let him out? It's the law. They can't keep him in jail forever. Why not? Everyone knows he's a firebug. He loves to start fires. I don't know. Sometimes the law doesn't make sense. But his latest fire killed someone. This time, they have charged him with murder. So maybe he'll go to jail forever. I sure hope so. Someone should set him on fire. That would teach him a good lesson. Put your seatbelt on. Why? Because it will protect you in case of an accident. But it's uncomfortable. It's the law. It's so much trouble. It's common sense. It's so tight that it's hard for me to breathe. Hold your breath till we get there. Okay, my seatbelt is on. I'm glad you don't complain very much. I'm ready for an accident. What are you doing? I'm going to change the light bulb. It burnt out. What are you standing on? A couple of dictionaries and some textbooks. Are you crazy? What's the matter? Those books will slip and you'll fall. It's only a couple of feet. What if you fall while you're holding the light bulb and it breaks and pieces go into your eyes? Ow, I never thought about that. You'd be blind for the rest of your life. I'll get a stepladder. Uh, seven, a puddle on the floor. Did you see that puddle of water on the floor? Yes, I called for a cleanup. A puddle of water is very dangerous. It isn't easy to see. But it's real easy to slip on. Especially on these slick floors. Someone who slips could hurt their back. They could even crack their head open. We should stand here till the cleanup person gets here. We can leave if we put on an orange cone here. Yes, but I don't know where the orange cones are. It doesn't matter. Here he comes, now with the mop. What happens when the fire alarm rings? We tell our students to leave the classroom. Can they take their belongings? Yes, if they do it quickly. Where do the students go? They go out to the north parking lot. What do the teachers do? We take our rosters to the parking lot and take roll. Why do they do that? We want to make sure all the students are out of the building. If they are all outside, then what? Then we just wait outside for a fireman to tell us to go back in. I have to go back upstairs. Why? We're already late. I have to check the stove. What's the matter? Maybe I left the burner on. No, you didn't. I checked the stove before we left. Are you sure? Of course, I'm sure. Well, I have to go back upstairs anyway. It's getting later every minute. I think I left the water running. No, you didn't. Let's go. The only thing running is the clock. The city is buying guns. What are they paying? Up to $200 for each gun, no questions asked. 
Why are they doing this? They want to get guns off the street. Who would turn in a gun for $200? That isn't a good deal. A good gun costs $400 or more. Well, if you bring your receipt, maybe they'll give you $400. I'll keep my receipt and my gun. I didn't know you had a gun. Everyone in America should have a gun. You're yawning. I sure am. You should go to bed. I will as soon as I finish this article. What are you reading? It's about crime in Los Angeles. What does it say? The mayor says the crime rate is going down. Then why does everyone lock their doors? I guess they haven't read this article. No one believes that the crime rate is going down. Maybe the mayor is just talking about his own neighborhood. People who live in California are crazy. Why is that? Because of all the earthquakes and fires. But big earthquakes happen only once in a while. Once in a while is too many. But you're right. There are a lot of fires. A recent fire destroyed 85 homes. Still, it's safer than Florida. Florida doesn't have earthquakes or fires. No, Florida just has hurricanes every year from June to October. But most of those hurricanes are harmless. Excuse me, Hurricane Andrew destroyed 30,000 homes.